We welcome you back to Reno, Nevada. Mika Koivu Niemi stringing together eight strikes, six of them in a row, wins by 24 to move on to the semifinals of the Bear USBC Masters. Time now for the Just for Men mustache and beard. Keep your edge moment. We flash back to some Masters perfection. The last two perfect games rolled out of major have happened here at the Masters. 1997, amateur Jason Queen shot the first televised 300 in Masters history. He would go on to win the tournament. And then the very next year, right here at the National Bowling Stadium, Parker Bone the third shot a 300 in the opening match of the TV Finals. However, he would lose in the title match to fellow lefty Mike Albee. There have been just four perfect games in major history. Nika Koivu Niemi almost with a 300 game a couple weeks ago at the Tournament of Champions, a 299 in the semifinals. Mika Koivu Niemi moves on to take on Tom Hess. Tom Hess and Tom Doherty have some eerie similarities. Tom Doherty, who made his first singles televised appearance at the TOC versus Mika Koivu Niemi, struggled to shoot a 100. Hopefully that won't happen for Mr. Hess. Tom Hess standing by live right now with our Hall of Famer, Randy Peterson. Thanks, Rob. Tom Hess looking to become the 20th player in PBA history to win a major for your first title. Big question, how do you get it done against the hottest player on the planet? I'm just going to try to focus on what I've been doing all week. Uh, post my shots, let go of the ball. It doesn't matter what he does. If I perform, I'll win. Rumor has it you like to be animated. Are we going to see some of that today? I uh, hope I can uh, pull a score to uh, have a little bit of fun. Thanks, Tom. Good luck. Thank you, Randy. So Tom Hess getting ready for his semifinal showdown versus Mika Koivu Niemi. Rivalry week continues tomorrow on ESPN, your home court of college hoops at 7 Eastern. Boy, the Big East is a mess. Syracuse is really struggling. Six losses in their last eight games. They take on West Virginia at 7 p.m. And then number two, Kansas. They may be number one in the nation by the time they tip off Monday versus Kansas State. You can see that one live, 9 Eastern on ESPN. And both of those games also available online at ESPN3.com and on your television. So it's number two seed Tom Hess in his first televised singles appearance of his career up next. What does Kentucky Bluegrass have to do with the hard throwing man from Iowa? Find out when we return. The Bear USBC Masters is brought to you by Barbazol. Start your day with Barbazol shaving cream, America's leader for a close, comfortable shave. By the makers of One A Day Men's 50 Plus Advantage, the multivitamin with more of what matters. By Spariva Handy Hailer. And by Go RVing. Visit GoRVing.com to watch a free video. Go affordably, Go RVing. Updated step ladder showing that Nika Koivu Niemi, your three seed, has moved on to our semifinals. The take on number two seed, Tom Hess. And Major Mika seeking his fourth major title of his illustrious career. Well, bat lead off here in the semifinals. Native of Finland resides in Heartland, Michigan right now. And he is the most dominating bowler on the face of the earth right now. The number two qualifier has six PBA regional titles. His runner-up finish in the 2010 Regional Players Invitational earned him an exemption from next season. From Urbandale, Iowa, Tommy Hess. This, Randy, actually the second televised appearance for Tom Hess, and the first happened here in Reno. He was part of a mixed doubles competition, but this, his first singles appearance on TV. Very likable young man from Urbandale, Iowa. Oh, wow. Goes Brooklyn, and he'll take it. Yeah, that one got to the swing a little early. Big oh, tug there at the bottom. Watch shot. this. This is just apprehension and nerves. And that's a huge on, break. Take advantage. He was saying just before we came back on the air during his warm-ups, Randy, I gotta be me to his coach. He's been trying to guide it. 
He says, I got to be a good one on top of that. who I am. And uh, Come on. an early break for your number two seed. And you need breaks to beat Mika Koivu Niemi the way he's bowling right now. There you go. That's better. Back-to-back oh, -back jacks for Tom Hess. His best finish at a major till now was 18th at the 2008 PBA World Championship. Big, strong guy in the offseason. He delivers sod, looking to stay ahead of Mika Koivuniemi and avoid an early dirt nap. That's a beautiful way to throw a double right there. Dirt Take nap a and sod into the same quote. You are really on your game. You always step it up for the majors. I love majors. What can I say? And you love your Kentucky bluegrass. Major Mika matching with an opening pair of his own. Again, a lot of opponents would get perturbed by watching the guy they're bowling against throw a double via a Brooklyn strike, but not when you're Mika Koivuniemi and you're where you're at, where he's at mentally. I mean, this guy's just like, okay, Tom threw a Brooklyn and then he threw a double. It doesn't matter because I'm going to bury this guy anyway. Triple for Koivu Niemi. Randy, only seven have won multiple Masters titles. Some great names, Mike Albee, Earl Anthony, Doug Kent, Walter Ray Williams Jr., and two more wins. And Mika will be on that list as well as we take a look at the arsenal of Tom Hess, a native of Urbandale, Iowa, a western suburb like week, of dude. Des Moines. Virtual Most Gravity Nano. That S ball did some damage this week here in Reno. Strongest ball in his bag. Well, maybe the only thing, or the only way to beat Mika Koivu Niemi is through the divine intervention. Brooklyn, flush, trip four, three bagger, and we're all tied up. And here's Tom Hess on the thrill of making today's TV show. To me, it's really not about the money. It's about uh, a dream since I was a kid, you know. I want to bowl against Pete. I want to bowl against Walter. You know, I love those guys. I respect those guys, and I can beat those guys. And I just want my chance to to do it without having to go through the Wednesday qualifiers to get there. You know. How about a ham bone for your first televised singles appearance, and it just happens to be at a major. Come on, let me throw a big chunk of sod in your face. I'm not afraid of you, Mika Koivuniemi. Here's four in a row. Let's go. Put them up. Mika Koivuniemi. Mowed down Mike Devaney in match number one, trying to put the blades to Tom Hess here in the fourth. Back to back. Ham bones in the semi. All I can say about that last shot, Rob, watch this. It's just pure. Nice and fluid. Great off his hand. Head doesn't move. Eyes on the target. Six snaps the 10 out. This is good stuff. This is what makes you excited about majors, watching these two players go back and forth like this, matching each other strike for strike. This is an awesome semifinal. Nine strikes thus far. And Koivu Niemi responding to Hess, and Hess matching the best bowler in the world right now. Again, Tom Hess will be an exempt bowler next season. This just the third tournament he's rolled in Post this season. All of this taking place in the Cathedral of Bowling, the National Bowling Stadium. Hess. 
Just nasty, sick, nasty stuff. Both players perfect through five. Tommy Hess has brought some game. Tommy Hess had very few tight matches this week here in Reno. And he is really handling himself well. Got an early break in the first with that Brooklyn strike. He is settling down and has matched Nika strike for strike through five. Close. Crack open the six pack, Tom Hess. Rob, you're right. He was really never tested throughout match play, except for his first match with Lenny Borsch. After that, it was it was pretty smooth sailing until he lost to Jack Jarrett, and Randy, the only undefeated player. Randy, want to know where we may see more than 100 million pins about to fall? Where? Well, we may. I feel like we've seen 100 million fall already in this match. I'll tell you when we return. Plus the conclusion of Hess and Mika when we return to Reno. This the scene while we were in break. Tom Hess, you think he's relaxed? Think he's into it? You're right, he is. Like it's 2012, know that it doesn't matter as long as we Singing got along to the house PA. That's awesome. He is enjoying his time. Uh, he's a into wonderful it. personality. Yep, he really has a great time, and, and I'm, I'm glad that he's bowling a good enough game to allow his personality to shine. Unfortunately, he's got his hands full because he's bowling the hottest player on the planet right now, Mika Koivuniemi. Through the nose. And it's always tough for the guys to come in cold after that long commercial break and Mika cracks here. Well, he's gone through the nose twice in two games and both times he's left the same four through the middle split. Three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. was unable to convert it in the last match. He's got a chance. But it'll be an open frame for the big fin. And the lead jumps to 30 all of a sudden for Tom Hess. And Nika will regroup and ask for a re-rack as well. Last time, somebody made Televised appearance in the season's first three majors was Patrick Allen in the 0405 campaign. He just happened to win Player of the Year honors during that campaign as well. A honor that Mika Koivu Niemi is in the driver's seat of for now. In two weeks, we'll be at the U.S. Open, and a lot will be determined there in Jersey. Boy, you're starting to see just how fast the oil's transitioning. Come out of commercial break, Mika goes through the nose on the right lane, pays the ultimate penalty, four through the middle, makes a little bit of a move on the left lane. That lane recovers just a little bit more from the right, and again, that ball over hooks, leaving a four pin. Randy, how much does Hess's style affect the lane breakdown today? Uh, I think it's a combination of Hess's style and the bowling ball he's using. Very aggressive, strong bowling ball, playing around the same line that Mika is playing, peeling a lot of oil off of the lanes. Actually, Tom has probably just slightly left of Mika and taking care of Mika's hold area. Seven in a row for Hess. The 7-10 was staring him for a moment, but all 10 drop. You know, I'm starting to think that there's really electricity going through his body. You see it on his shirt? I'm starting to feel it up here in the booth. Check that out. I mean, he's carried everything in the building this match. Started with the trip six Brooklyn, carried a couple nice hits, and then trips the 7-10 out for seven in a row. We said you have to have things go your way. You have to get the breaks to beat Mika Koivu Niemi the way he's bowling. And Hess is getting them, and he's earning them. Here he is in the eighth. 
Didn't like it. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Big difference between going through the nose and having the three six to shoot at and going through the nose and having six pins to shoot at and a big six pin split. And that's what we saw with Mika. Tom has a nice break there. Goes through the nose, only leaving the three six. Easy conversion. A spare here, and he will maintain a 38 pin lead. So there will be no perfect game here in the semifinals. There were no 300 games this week. And in fact, through the tournaments thus far on the PBA Tour, just 24 perfect games, that number way down compared to last season. So Koivu Niemi will step up here in the eighth, down 38. His last two frames open and spare. That after he got off to a great start, dropping five strikes in a row. strike train is the big fin. ESPN is your NBA destination tonight. Kevin Durant, the NBA's leading scorer, takes on the Golden State Warriors at 8 Eastern. The game also available online at ESPN3.com and on your phone. Oklahoma City 34 and 18 overall. Big win last night at Sacramento. Important ninth frame effort here for Koivu Niemi. And he leaves the tent. And he goes with the adjustment that uh, is his bread and butter, and that's the loft. And trying to hold pocket, Mika tries to get a little air under that last shot. The problem is the ball finished late and it finished soft leaving a half 10. Tom Hess in complete control. The best Mika can shoot now, 230. Tom Hess is already in the high 250s. Come on, Tommy. So Tom Hess. One shot. Delivers sod for a living. One more time, dude. Gets laid off One more every time. winter. Just post it and let it go. Is one win away from moving on to the title match at the USBC Masters. Here he is in the ninth. Gosh. I've seen Tom has to do this twice in this match. The first time was the first frame on the right lane, and the last time was this shot right here. And what happens is he gets the ball into the swing quick, the ball starts down early, gets to the shot, bottom dude. of the swing too soon. You see the loss of balance there, that's called early timing. And every time he has done that, every shot has been pulled left. Nice cleanup though there in the ninth. The lead at 36, one frame to go. And this one is in the books. Tom Hess will move on to the title match. Needs to keep it on the lane, Robin. That it's it's uh, it's over. He'll bowl Jack Jerk for the title. The only thing that could hurt Tom Shot. Hess right now is a foul. Let it go, dude. Or a double gutter. I don't see any of that happening. So Tommy Hess advances to move on to take on your number one seed, Jack the Ripper Jerk. <laughs> you like that, huh? I like both of these guys. Hey. No, you just like Corey saying Ronick. the Ripper. You missed it the last time you shot it on TV. Run this one over. TV. He needs to get refocused and settle in because he's going to bowl Jack Jerk, who's been undefeated in this event. You talk about that. He mentioned to us yesterday that he was just happy to make the show and lost a little bit of his focus in his match versus Jerk to find out who would be the one or the two seed. And he told us, well, I'm happy it happened then and not on Sunday. So he's well aware he needs to bring those emotions back home regroup and refocus as Hess closes out his effort in the 10th. 
leaves the 10 pin, but he has already knocked down enough to take care of Mika Koivu Niemi and move on to our title match. Fans are behind him. That's always a plus. But what a year this man is having. A quarter of a million dollars in his pocket from the Tournament of Champions. Almost broke 300 that day. A little pocket 710 to take with you onto the to the U.S. Open in a couple of weeks, but he's on quite a run. Still a very dangerous man on the tour. Well, it's only been made three times in the history of the sport, but zero times the last five years, and Mika wasn't going to make a bold attempt at making it again, so. 254, 219, Tom Hess, who has won all of Zero Lumber Liquidator PBA Tour titles has moved on to our title match. So we are closing in on our uninterrupted coverage of the season's third major of the season. And we'll hear live from that man, our number one seed, Jack Jurek, when our coverage of the USBC Masters returns to Reno. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson, welcoming you back to Reno, Nevada, and this year's Bear USBC Masters serves as a precursor to the 108th U.S. Bowling Congress Open Championship, which is held here at the National Bowling Stadium. It will be conducted every day, 122 consecutive days from March 4th through July 3rd, between 12,000 and 16,000. Five team, five player teams will be there. Expected total pinfall of more than 100 million. Pins. That is an outrageous tournament, and our thanks to Stu Upson and Darlene Baker, the USBC Executive Director and USBC President. They will be here in Reno to see a lot of those pins fall. Time now for the Geico Championship recap. Randall. You got it, Rob. Match number one, Mika Koivuniemi taking on Mike Devaney. Well, it was all Mika. He threw a smooth six-bagger en route to a 230-206 to 206 victory over Mike Devaney. Then in match number two, man, did we have some fireworks early. Mika comes out of the gate swinging. He starts with the front five, but a huge split right there in the sixth frame. Tommy Hess, well, guess what? He took advantage of that. He was all over it. He started with the front seven. Tom Hess advances to the championship round match, beating Mika 254 to 219. So we are just moments away from our uninterrupted coverage of today's championship match. Tom Hess versus Jack Jurek. Between them, they have two Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour titles. Jurek having both of them. Where do you see the edge early on in this one? It's got to be for Jack because he's been in this situation before. He actually led this tournament back in 2006, only to lose to Doug Kent. But Doug Kent shot 277. Jack bowled a great game. Jack's got all the experience in his corner, but Tom Hess has got all the emotions and all the momentum in his. And there's been a lot of success through the years as the number two seed at a USBC Masters Championship match. Not so for your number one seed. Jack Jurek is your number one seed and he is the focus of today's more of what matters to you fan question brought to you by the makers of Bear Aspirin. And we head on over to the question for Jack. And Jack, this comes your way from David in Boise, Idaho. He wants to know as the number one seed did you watch the matches before yours to get an idea of how the lanes are playing, Jack? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely paid attention. Uh, I wanted to see how the guys were playing because I know there was a couple options, either playing straight, straighter from out or moving more into the track. So um, I, I paid attention, saw everybody moved in, so uh, which was good for me because I kind of played in the whole week. So I'm uh, going to stick with that. All right, thank you, Jack. That was today's More of What Matters to You fan question brought to you by the makers of one a day, so Jack Jurek trying to take home that piece of hardware. He was your number one seed at the 2006 Masters, but fell in the final. Redemption time on deck, but he'll have to get by Hess if he wants his third career title. Commercial free coverage of our title match next.